to my channel. Today I thought I would film a very different sort of video for me. I know I'm doing a lot more travel content at the moment and I'm really, really enjoying it, but currently I'm not traveling. I'm in London for a little while and I thought that I would bring you guys some London content with a difference. Now, I don't know about you, but whether you're a blogger, a tourist or whatever, we all want like beautiful photos, Instagrammable photos, whether you post them on Instagram or not. I feel like at the moment, everyone is chasing after the latest flower wall and the cutest cafe with the prettiest cakes and things like that and I get it I totally get the hype and it's not just bloggers I've seen there's loads of content out there where you can find like the top 10 20 whatever Instagram places in London and if like me you live in London that's great but for tourists I don't think that's that helpful because I'll see like number one might be Tower Bridge, number two might be Covent Garden, number three might be the Ivy in Chelsea and it's like all over London. London's a big city and yes it's great if you're here for like a long period of time and you can get to like tick all of those off your list but I thought I would make this video that's more helpful I guess for like tourists or somebody visiting London or even for people that live here that just may not know this because I did a bit of research, I had to, and I'm sure other people have to do the same. So I want to try and split it down by area. Today's video is the top four, kind of four, Instagrammable places in Belgravia. If you're not sure where Belgravia is, it's basically just Victoria and like the surrounding areas. So I figured that most tourists, when they come to London, at some point you will go to Victoria. You can get like the Gatwick Express um, from Gatwick Airport that goes to Victoria. I'm pretty sure you can get to other airports, but you can get to like other places outside of London because it's a big train station, it's a coach station, and all of these places are literally not even a 10 minute walk from Victoria Coach Station, and they're all so close together, you could whiz round and do this all within an hour. I actually wanted to call it the top five places. I've spent all day walking around today and it turns out there just is no fifth place. No one's written about it, no one's Instagrammed it. I thought I'd be clever and try and find something that somebody may have missed. Unfortunately, the fifth place doesn't exist at the time of filming this video, um, which is April 2019. But there are four main places that everyone rushes to for that beautiful Instagram shot. So without further ado, Here's the video. <laughs> So when you come out of Victoria Coach Station, you want to head to Elizabeth Street. This is the road where all of these places are on. The very first place you will spot is Dominique Ansel on the left-hand side. This is a bakery. They're very well known for their cronuts and you cannot miss it. It has a gorgeous purple floral arch at the moment. All of these displays do change depending on what season you're in. It's a really cute cafe to grab a cronut, try their flavour of the month, have a coffee and my top tip would be to try and get a table outside. The interior of this place is nothing special but their terraced bit outside is actually really beautiful. They have a beautiful floral display against the back wall and their ceiling if you look up is just absolutely stunning with hanging flowers, terrariums and all that jazz so I would definitely recommend starting off here. Once you're done, come out of the shop and turn left. Ignore this clip we had to circle the next location a few times because it was very busy but as you walk up the street on the left hand side at the next crossroads you will see Peggy portions I'm sure this place needs no introductions it is very very popular with bloggers and you just cannot miss it the only thing I will say is that we didn't eat here so I can't tell you what the cakes are like but it is very very popular and so equally it can get very busy um, they are happy for you to take photos outside against the floral displays the chances are you will probably see other people people doing that while you're there too and all I will say is just be mindful of the paying customers there's nothing worse when you're sat at a cafe and there's people just hovering around trying to take photos like of the displays near where you're sat and just be mindful of the waitresses um, that need to obviously get in and out of the doorway but like I said we didn't eat there and they were quite happy for us to just stand outside and take loads of photos along with everybody else so next up when you leave Peggy portion just keep walking up Elizabeth Street and on the left hand side two or three doors down you will see a tiny gorgeous florist called Moises Stevens I'm pretty sure that's how it's pronounced and again they're more than happy for you to take photos inside and outside the florist just make sure you look up when you go inside they have a gorgeous floral ceiling so you can get really creative with your photos they have big mirrors on the walls and of course they've got the faux flower 
arch outside which you cannot miss. When you're done there just keep heading up Elizabeth Street again <laughs> and again a few doors down on the left hand side you will see Les Senteurs and this is a French perfumery. Again their floral display changes all the time and currently this is what it looked like at the time that we visited. If you also just take a walk around the area there are other shops that have smaller floral displays and again you never know what you might find. But yes that is it. All of these places are literally like less than a minute's walk from each other. They're so close together. I feel like this is the perfect location to shoot in whether you're a blogger, a tourist or just none of the above and you just want pretty photos <laughs> but yeah i really hope you found this video helpful if you did then please give it a big thumbs up please leave me a comment let me know what area you want to see next and let's like turn this into a series let me know if you enjoyed it and please don't forget to follow me on instagram because i always tag the location where i take my photos because what's the point of being secretive like sharing is caring and all that jazz so if you see a gorgeous floral display and you want to see like if you want to know where it is either look through my hashtags or more often than not it will be in the location tag above the photo so don't forget to follow me on instagram leave me a comment down below and thank you so much for watching i'll see you next time bye